Hey guys, welcome to another video. This was supposed to be the build log video for Friday, but so much stuff is has been happening and needed to be done before the opening. This will probably not be released until Saturday. I am working on some projects with some interviews and other stuff. As you can see, the land has uh, filled up a lot. It's currently about 4 o'clock at night, so a lot of people are sleeping already, but a lot of people are also still gaming. I'll try and get you some footage, but the lighting level is pretty low, so I'm hoping that's going to work. But again, from the build log from yesterday, you can certainly see a lot has changed. For instance, this is one of our streaming areas, which do live game coverage and stream it on the internet, so people here and people on the internet can watch it. Although the main stage is quiet right now, we had our opening and we also had our cosplay competition earlier today. And here are some images from that. Most of the network switches have also turned into a giant cable mess, but only for a few short hiccups, which were mostly related to power, uh, we had no issues and the network's been performing fine. This is uh, one of our sleeping areas, and as you can see, some people are already sleeping. Well, it is four o'clock at night, so it's a mix between half awake and half asleep right now for most people. So this is one of the buildings or venues, restaurants, rooms. And here is another streaming setup uh, from another party or uh, group that does streaming. And well, this stuff has become much more and more professional over the years, as you can see by the equipment they carry along. So they have very nice black magic cameras and, uh, well, a whole professional streaming setup, as you can see. But hey, esports is a big thing right now, so having some good live coverage is uh, invaluable. Let's see what's behind here. More equipment, Jesus. Now I don't know too much about the live streaming that they do, except for the live stream I do myself sometimes, but uh, it's become a whole production. So that's pretty cool to see. Another thing you'll see all out through the venue is like, these stands with screens on them. They show our digital signage system, which shows uh, some competitions that are coming up and some advertisement, of course, but also uh, the layout and where you're, you can find your seats and some general information, which competitions are coming up, all kinds of stuff. And we found that helps a lot to convey the information you want to to your visitors. So if you're hosting big events and you don't want to have a thousand people asking the same questions, a digital signage system can really help. We're running Rise Vision, and we've been running that for a few years now, and we're very happy with it. So this information is also the same as is on the giant beamer, when there's no special event taking place. And it's really convenient to be able to update all the information in one spot and then distribute it to all the screens automatically. So an event like this would be impossible with sponsors, so we're very grateful to them. And as you can see, there's quite a few, and uh, yeah, this event would be impossible without them. So, thanks a lot, guys. So to round off today, we also have some giant screens with information on them. As you can see, we're using Grafana to display statistics from our firewall, our backbones, and split out some traffic and what kind of devices are around and stuff like that. I'll try and get a little interview with someone tomorrow about how this is constructed and how we gather all the data. And that's going to be it for today. Short video, but uh, as I said, I've been really busy. And it's, it's hard to make these videos, but also do what I need to do. So, 
um, yeah, hoping to make one again tomorrow and maybe interview some people. So uh, make sure to check back that. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.